Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss the next question of our agriculture optional answer writing practice series. And the question we are going to discuss today is discuss the cultural methods of wheat control. And this question was asked in this year's that is 2024 agriculture optional paper of UPSC CSE. And all these things have been discussed by me before several times. I have discussed you with you the complete wheat science. I have taught you the complete wheat science where I we I have discussed all these methods in detail. And this was the question asked. So let's see how we can approach the answer. So we all know what wheat control is, and there are various methods of wheat control. One is the cultural method. Which is asked in the question. We can use biological method. We can use physical methods, and we can also use chemical methods. So, we will discuss cultural method now. But you should also know what biological methods that is use of some living organisms, either it to be some other predators, either it be it would be some parasites, etc. To control them, okay, or to compete with them to reduce their population. For physical methods, you can use physical elements such as it could be flying nets, traps, etc. For chemical, we can use different chemicals which are known as herbicides or weedicides sorry there will be not nets and traps it is for pests i am very sorry here we will either use uh, mechanical things such as by removing hand removing or we will use some other machines and other things remover or get, uh, removers and other things to remove these uv weeds so these are Biological methods, physical methods, chemical methods, and I think all you know it. And today we will be discussing cultural methods. What are the things which we can incorporate in cultural methods? So first of all, we can do crop rotations. So these are the various. We will not discussing the various methods through which we can do cultural control of it. So we can do crop rotations. So what happens when we Grow similar types of crops, such as suppose that is rice, and we are growing rice again and again and again. We are doing mono cropping of rice, so the weeds of rice will get established here all nicely, and the competition with rice will be different, and they will be able to withstand. So what we will do? We will rotate rice with some other crops, which will positively compete with the weeds and reduce the weeds. So what happens when suppose there is a crop such as some millet is there, and this millet is Uh, positively competing with the weed, uh, weed and reducing it. So what happens? We can uh, use the crop rotation of rice, millet, rice, millet. So what happens? Millet will reduce the weed and it will reduce the weed and it will be good for the other rice cultivation also. So it can be done. Secondly, we can use cover crops. What happens? It will suppose we are planting the tree of uh, uh, the crops in rows and there are spaces where weeds can grow. So we will cover with these uh, is cover the spaces with these cover crops so that the weeds do not doesn't get the right amount of area to grow. We can do mulching. Obviously, the same concept is in mulching. Suppose this is the field and this is the uh, crop. So we will mulch it using polythene or other thing, and the weeds cannot come out of the polythene. They will die suddenly, and for the plants there will be holes in the polythene. The crops will grow from that holes of the mulches. The mulching is another good thing we can use. We can keep proper soil health management. That can be very helpful because soil maintaining the soil health is very good to reducing the weeds. We can keep the planting space proper. Proper keeping the proper proper planting space is very necessary. As when there will be more space available the weeds will go get more areas to grow but when the planting space will be nice and adequate the areas left for the weed growth will be very less so that is another thing timely planting and harvesting needs to be done and there are other things which can incorporate such as suppose 
the weeds are suppose suppose we are growing some crops in july and the weed infestation is very high in july so what we will do either we will delay the crop for some time so when the weeds the population of weeds of will be low or we will keep grow the crop a little bit earlier so that it can uh, it is at a positive advantage in competition because when weeds will start growing the crops will be these crops will be bigger and they will be able to compete with the weeds noise nicely so these are the things which we can do we can do mechanical cultivation practices for example tillage can be done so what tillage will do it will destroy the weeds present in the field the weed seeds will be removed so that is another thing we can do irrigation management should be proper irrigation management should be proper how it could be proper suppose this is the field and we have crops in these rows and here we have weeds so what we will do we will irrigate such a uh, in such a good way that the irrigation water is mostly available for the crops and the weed areas are not irrigated instead of flood irrigation we can use drip irrigation methods where the irrigation water will be going towards the plant roots nicely and the weeds will not get as my amount of white water as we competed with the plants so here also it will be very good for the crops so these are the some of the things which we can incorporate in the cultural methods and i think for 10 markers 7 to 8 points will be enough and i hope you understand all the points so that is all for today and you can conclude positively okay it is on you but always try to write some positive statements, some themes, some beneficial things as regards to agriculture. So all these things could be a good conclusion. So that is all for today. If you like it, please press the like button. Please do share. And please do subscribe. It takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on, on for your regular basis. And if you like, if you share, if you subscribe, it motivates us to make more such videos for you regularly. And we have uploaded the proof video of paper one where we have uh, with proof shown you how all the questions came from our videos and how our videos could be very helpful to you so you can refer this video that could be a eye opener for you most of the students who do not know our channel will get a great idea by that video how our channel is helping the aspirants so much in just free or in very less uh, marginal costs when it comes to notes and test read so that is all for today have a nice day thank you